is no age limit to go green. And to prove that point, today we announced the winners of this year's Environmental Community Service Award. There were two awards and they're aimed at students. Sponsored by NBC10, Wawa, and the environmental law firm of Manco, Goldcatcher, and Fox. Wawa Goose swooped into the Cedar Brook Middle School in Wincote as part of a special announcement about which middle school in the tri-state area has the best environmental program that includes community involvement. The winning middle school program this year is Cedar Brook Middle School. It's a big deal because it's a big prize. $5,000 from NBC10, Wawa, and the environmental law firm of Manco Gold, Catcher, and Fox. The winning project was cleaning up and testing the water of a creek that runs past their school. So far, we found lots of algae. They can tell us a story about the quality of the school. Little bugs, please. These seventh graders took the skills they learned here and did the same tests on creeks near their homes. Gateway in Woodbury Heights, New Jersey, the high school that won the award, was cooking up a storm to celebrate their big prize. The judges liked their project because... It really deals with sustainability. Those are tilapia in the 1,000-gallon fish tank. They can grow in close quarters, uh, easy to feed. And the water with all the fish waste is used to feed hydroponic plants like tomatoes and fresh herbs. When a fish lives, it produces a lot of nitrogen-rich waste. Plants, as you may already know, love nitrogen, so it's a perfect combination to use. The students harvest some of their plants to make pesto. There's fresh basil, there's garlic cloves, there's pine nuts, there's oil, Parmesan cheese, and dash of nutmeg. But this is your basil, right? Yep, okay. grown here. A little pasta with some pesto, add tilapia from the grill, and you've got an award-winning meal that could be made at school or in your own home, if you like. Some soup. Really good. This year's winners were all about sustainability, all about being clean. Hats off to Cedar Brook and Gateway for two good ways to go green. All right, for more Going Green stories, if you have a Going Green idea you'd like to share, go to our website, NBC10.com.